Did you randomly decide to go to a Halloween party or go trick-or-treating last minute and don't have a costume? Don't worry, I got you. Cute, like really easy to put together. Like that is so cute. So it like stuck out like hair. Pretty simple and really cute. Dressing up as old people. I want to do this one year. It's hilarious. That'd be perfect. Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Reese. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you some last minute Halloween costume ideas. If this is your first time seeing my channel, welcome. Remember to smash that subscribe button so that you can like see my videos every single time I post. So I went scrolling through the internet and I found a ton of cute, like really easy to put together Halloween costumes. Nothing too crazy, but just something that you'll still look cute, still look like you tried, put effort into it, but it won't cost you a fortune at the same time. It's currently Monday. This video video should be up tomorrow, Tuesday, so two days before Halloween. So here are just a few last minute Halloween costumes. Also really quickly, do not mind my bed. It is a total disaster. We're going to start with a classic outfit I've seen so many teenage girls wear. I don't know why it's kind of, like I love it, but like it's kind of weird to see a teenage girl dressed up as this. So it's a minion costume. Like that is so cute. And talk about easy, like I have seen tons of different versions of this. I've seen it where people are wearing just like a yellow shirt and then like blue jeans. I've also seen it with people wearing a yellow shirt and then like a fluffy um, blue skirt or in like this photo where they're wearing a yellow shirt and like overalls. Such a cute idea. And then you can wear just like a green hat or if you have the time um, you can order like those little goggles. Um, I'm sure you can find them. So I saw someone take an old headband and then just like cut three strips of uh, stock paper like that. I think that's how you say that. Stock paper. Just like really hard paper. And then they like glued it onto it so it like stuck out like hair like the minions so I thought that was a really cute idea and then you can wear like black gloves or no gloves but the gloves are always good because Halloween's always cold where I live. The other idea is a cat. A cat is really simple to do you can just like DIY headband take an old headband again like glue like paper just to like create the ears or you can use a cat headband you already have at home and then dress in all black like a black long sleeve black tank top and then like pants I've seen leather pants I think that's more common you could do black jeans black boots black gloves pretty simple and really cute and then also the like little whiskers and then you can also do like your upper lip black like that's a that's cute that's cute or you could do a ghost so you can just wear some fun leggings and then literally take an old sheet put it over top of you cut some like mouth holes or whatever and wear a hat like this picture just to like keep the sheet on your head like your eye holes are always aligned with your eyes at all times at all times because like it can like probably fall and move so I think the hat's actually like a good idea on their part and then just like boots shoes whatever and then your little pumpkin bucket or whatever bucket like Super cute and really easy and honestly, literally you have to buy nothing and you just take an old sheet, so. Repurposing too. It's a win-win. This idea might be better for like younger people. I don't really see older teenagers or adults wearing this. Or, or if you need an idea for your kid or your little sibling or something, you can literally wrap them in like fake cobwebs or something. You can probably buy this plus the Dollar Tree for like five bucks for this outfit. Just have them dress in all black again and then wrap them in it and then put like some little fake spiders in the cobwebs around them. Put their hair in like a hat or a bun or something. That'd be cute too. This is more of a comedic outfit, but I love it. Um, dressing up as old people. I want to do this one year. Um, I'm not going to do it this year, but it's hilarious. A great couple's outfit too. Like if you're like 20 or teenagers or something, dress as old people. Like, that would be hilarious. Like, I want to do that. But, um, get the rollers out, the grandma gown, the robe. Okay, the only thing that this picture doesn't have is the guy needs to be holding a newspaper. Like, perfect with the newspaper. Another one is from Scooby-Doo. Velma and, oh my gosh, I have to Google who played in Scooby-Doo. All of the Scooby-Doo characters. This one is like a cute best friend outfit, Daphne and Velma. Or you could go just as one of them. It just kind of, like, looks cute together as a um, best friend or friend outfit like you can get this at home just like a purple dress if you have a green belt green he green headband get a little bun going and then for Velma just like orange skirt orange sweater it's really easy and really cute and people know what you are like it's a pretty classic Halloween costume without it being like what everyone wears Wednesday Adams I feel like this one's so easy to put together you can just get like a white shirt and then a black dress over top um, all black makeup so you can go with your natural hair color 
Um, maybe your natural hair color is already black. You could wear a black wig. You could spray your hair black. Whatever. Like, that would probably be the hardest part is the hair. Then you can just, you know, all dress in all black and all black makeup. And then it's cute. And then if you're grumpy on Halloween or something, that'd be perfect. Um, I know a lot of people are into Wednesday Adams. So, yeah. A scarecrow is another cute idea. Um, you can just wear black pants. Or, not black pants. But you can just wear any pants. Any pants. You can wear a plaid shirt. You could even, if you had like some cotton balls, like stuff them into your sleeves and then like just tie it around your wrist so that they don't come out obviously, just to kind of give it more of a scarecrow vibe, I guess. Then you can like braid your hair or like put it like this or something with a hat if you didn't want to go all out, all out with the mop because I really wouldn't want to like mop into my head either. And then you can cut up like paper and like stick like brown-ish paper like tannish paper and stick them in your shoes or like on in your hat or something as the hey this one's similar to the cat but it's a fox um, basically the same idea same makeup but you just wear like a big orange sweater and then you could wear orange pants too if you really wanted to go all out I'd probably just wear black pants I don't know anyone with orange pants but if you have orange pants this works great and then again you can DIY headband or you could go with this type of headband another DIY hack is um get an old headband and then glue the ears and then um, make sure it's like orange paper and then get cotton balls and like dye them orange and then like rip them apart or cut them up and then you can glue them onto the ears to make them fluffy. For the cat or the fox you could do that. I feel like I'm saying all of these are cute so like when I'm like introducing them I'm like this is another cute idea. This is the cute idea. This costume is a Girl Scout um, so really cute. It's really easy. Um, hopefully you have pins. Um, I don't know if I have pins but like the costume itself would be easy. And you could probably buy a cheap box of pins off of, or like the pins off of Amazon. You might find some old ones. Bet your grandmother has a bunch or your mom. Um, another idea that works, it's really easy and people know who you are. Plus, when you're trick-or-treating, you can sell them a box of cookies as well. Win-win. I wouldn't want to be Pikachu, but it's a really easy idea and people know right off the bat who you are. And I kind of like the ears, not going to lie. So, just, you could dress in all yellow, and then, like, the picture you can cut out, I didn't even think about that, like, paper, and, like, stick them to your face, and then for the ears, that part would be harder. I guess you could just get cardboard, and then glue them to a headband, and then paint them. I guess that would work. And then you could do a best friend ketchup and mustard costume, like, that's really cute, too. So, one of you could dress in all red, and then the other one could dress in all yellow. And then, for the hat, you literally just take a paper plate, and then you take a roll of something, the, in the picture, there's kind of looks like a roll of tape, but I bet you could find something that's similar to that. And then just like paper and then like curled it over and then just like taped them all together. And then it looks like the end squirt part of the ketchup and mustard, which is actually really, really smart. And that is it for today's video. It wasn't that long and I didn't have like that many things, but I found a decent amount to the point where I think you should be able to kind of like figure out like an idea or something or like get inspiration from one of the things and go with something kind of different. I'm not going to be trick-or-treating this year but my apologetics class which is on Thursday is dressing up as like people or animals from Noah and the Flood. So I'm going as an animal. Drop your guesses in the comments what animal I'm going as or what animal you think I should go as. 